motion sickness when I tried. I have to have distance between me and the monitor Anders. <clears throat> That's what I feel as well. Yeah, can't really do it. Oh, look at this out middle though, pretty quickly. Tulsi's gonna be falling back and... Hmm. Well, they've got mid control in a, with everyone there, so that's a, it should be a powerful position. But they might still need that, that one entry to convert it into uh, you know a bomb site. They could still get shut down with the USPs and Suhei's he's slowly making his way there. A little bit of a, an attempted shot from JDC, and he's going to call out surely that they've made their way into the CT spawn. Prime taps taking down Suhei, so that's a very that's a very strong start here. Torsi missing a couple of shots, and actually surprised he got anyone at all there. Still not a good round so far for the CT side. Oh, that's so good from Shen. Gets in, finds a kill of his own though, and now what are you going to do? It's a three on three retake scenario. You have Kevlar. There's a headshot again. JDC continues to deliver. He got the one. He knew the second one was there. Aqua takes two in return, though. And leaving just on his own. Shane here. Trying. He's going to get one of them around the box. Is he going to be quick enough? He's running out of time as well. That bomb is planted, remember? And a jumping shot from Aqua to finish the round in favor of Big. Nicely done. Solid big. There we go. They actually get a pistol round. They don't have to go and uh, try and dig it out of the second round this time. Okay. And yeah, we're getting a bit of the animations going as well. First day here in the uh, studio. And uh, to be fair, with how wonderful these uh, these studios look with We Play, I'm always expecting there to be something crazy. They're always pushing the limit. I know it's uh, it's quite cool. I I look at the camera as well as you know the the live feed and it, it translates nicely. It does feel really awesome. This is a problem for Miles now because they go for the uh, Deagle Kev right, but it just means that it's going to take them a bit longer to get that economy up and running. They're going to be slowed down here at the beginning of this half, and that is the last thing that they want, especially when it's big, who have uh, laid a bit of a trap for them on this map. Yeah, that's what's so interesting, right? We yet to find out how deep it goes for uh, for the big side, but they did uh, do very well in that moment, taking middle with everyone. And Mouse was set up in a way that they were they kind of had very late information about what was happening even in the middle. I don't think they realized until very late that it was everyone there. Not sure uh, if that nade did what you, he wanted it to there. Yeah, I doubt it. But uh, you know. Really high BPM. Did you see that as well for JDC? Heart oh. rate up at around 130. Compared to the others, who are all kind of floating around that 190 mark. He's, He's still up. up there. He's still yeah. at 130. He's fired up, isn't he? He's just ready. Bit of pressure here on Mouse. 140. <laughs> all right. And rising. Should we just doing work? He's going all in. Let's see it now. Get some headshots. No, he gets headshot in turn. Yeah, he did some damage, but they're going to be jumping around the corner again, entering with, with the Galil or in the Mac 10 that's on Aqua. It's just, it's a nice way to do it. Got a lot of chances to, to get that entry. So, four versus three. Mm -hmm. And it looked like a, a finally, a con, you know, not, not a conversion of the, of the pistol, but, you know, on Dust2 they kept trading rounds early on. Not so here. Yeah, and uh, again, with the uh, anti-eco approach, which is to just kind of death ball it, bring the superior firepower to bear. And, well, not a, a missed chance there, unfortunately, for JDC. Could have picked up another kill there. Not going to happen. And as that bomb is ticking down, it's looking like we're going to get another one round here for Big. But, yeah, Big, really clear for them that they, they like to play the death ball approach. They like to stick together and get a unit together to just kind of crash onto a bomb site and just fill the air with bullets. So... We'll see if uh, Miles can adapt to that here on Ancient. Ancient is a bit more constricted, a little bit tighter of a map. Yeah, and that kind of play that they just did to the to the to that side of the map is usually quite hard to do once the CT sign had, has grenades. That's that's where it becomes much more of an issue. Mm. So, well, let's listen into the Mouse team and see how things are going now that they're down a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna hide the they're going to Nothing. Nothing on mid. They're not on mid. You're pushing A? Yeah. Yeah, let's let's go B. Please, please, let, let's feed. We cannot hear you, Adam. Uh, after they go. After they go. He's not the A player. After they go. He's a mid player, right? Yes. Yeah, then he's holding he's mid. Through a, gr a grenade. 
Bit stepping. I think he stepped towards C spawn. I think he stepped towards C spawn. Just wait. If they go B, it's fine. Cammy is contact. Yeah. I'll pick on the box. They might have Fox City already. Watch out. I I spotted City there. Guys, we can even full save. They only seen the Deagle. We can full save it. Let's get our kiddies up and uh, also. <laughs> what do you mean? They don't know if we bought uh, or not. They have Mechtans, we don't they, have to they, give them money. Yeah, they don't know if we bought or not. They only killed Deagle from Hubert. I next one, so. On City Mactan. Wait, Temple guys. This sound uh, the first one. All right. So trying to keep their economy a bit of a secret by not throwing away, you know, the remaining pistols there. Um, you know, could have been MP9s and Famasas maybe or something like that. So uh, interesting times. But a good start for Big, no matter how you twist and turn it. And they were happy to give up that B bomb site. They didn't really care. They just said, all right, whatever. If they go B, it's going to be fine. We'll just leave it alone. So, um, I don't know. They didn't seem stressed, Mouse. They just seemed like they were all right giving up that round. I think that uh, the, I like to hear how calm and collected they are, especially Shui just saying essentially, hey, they, I like that he picks up on that detail. They killed the Deagle. They don't know what we have. Just hard eco. Just stay out of the out of line of sight. And it's fine. We're going to play a little bit of an information game here. If they take B, it's all right. I, I, I'm more and more I listen to these guys and their rounds, the happier I get. The, this, this is some clean Counter-Strike coming through here, and they are clearly a team, Mouseboard. So, again, just goes to show why... Many think that they are the team to beat in this league right now, and they yeah. are just looking so good. But again, this is uh, uh, an 0-3 situation for him. First big buy round coming up now for Maus, and a little light on the nades. So we'll see how uh, uh, Big decided to challenge this. This is, a, this is a chance for them to play aggressive and put a turn of speed on. You see early nades. You see exertion down here. He saw so many targets, and that's actually that's a hard situation to deal with. Suddenly you're shooting at, you know, one, two, three people and you're sort of, you're changing your spray halfway through and none of them die. So, a little bit of a shame indeed. Aggressive position from JDC. Lapex, I don't know if he's waiting for a flashbang or whatever it is, but now that position has been given up. He's going to have to fall back on that CT side. So, Mouse get the early kill. They get a little bit of control. Oh, sorry, big do. Taking down Exertion. So, they're actually in a... Fairly decent spot at the moment, and a huge rotation towards that B bomb site. Basically, I think just going to end up giving Big the round without much else to say. Shane walking in. I don't even think he should really commit to this. Good kill there, but they are they're really far behind in this. The bomb is not planted. Maybe that's the only good thing we could say right now. JDC trying his best. Bit of a counter nade coming out. Time goes down. They fought their way back into the round. Unbelievably so. Big had it all lined up, and now it's a two-on-two. Aqua two. just playing at the edge of the smoke. JDC will take him down anyway. He's, he's played his way back into this round. Unbelievable uh, round for him so far. No bomb plant, 20 seconds. Lapex walking in with the AWP. But as soon as he fires, surely he's going to get traded. No scopes, one of them. Let's see who he's there. And that is our, that's a round that I do not think Mouse should have won, but they did anyway. Yeah. So sick, so well played there in that sort of scenario, because that is exactly what they're hoping for, is to be able to turn it back. And man, I'm just still, I'm kind of distracted actually by the, the the heart rate monitor, but for everybody, you notice that? Yeah. We had the heart rate for everybody there, and Lifex man was cool, down to like 118 BPM, even in the clutch situation, did not get flustered. You had some of those guys spiking up in the 140s. Such a cool detail to see. But as far as a must-win round is concerned, that was Mouse Sports just holding their own in the end. Well played. You pointed it out as well, where it's just the bait and switch. Sure, you get a kill on my teammate, but I swing and I just trade it. There's no way for him to win that round with an AWP. So now, very early, some aggression towards uh, Jaguar. At least, uh, should we just making it a little bit uh, more interesting for that offense? 
footstep bait. One for one trade. Yeah. Open the middle still. Can be smoked off from almost anywhere on the map. If he's that far back. And yeah, they're going to actually do that. Smoking him off, but... <laughs> With an MP9. Yeah, MP9 does uh, get the job done. A little bit scary, though. Don't want to go down a prime in that scenario. But it is a four on three. If Mouse win this round, again, I feel like it's such a steal that they got that last one that... Your big were just getting ramped up. Although they're going to walk for their own smoke in the middle here, Glaives. This is a very powerful position. If you can make a play around this, you can you can catch the rotations, you can shoot the defense in the back. It's so much you can do from this position. Oh, he's steadily climbing, dude. Glaived for a lurker. He's got a really high, uh, really high uh, heart rate going right now. He knows. He's like, this is the winning position. If I could just make it work, it's going to be it's going to be all round. Prime taps. What? He gets that kill? Yeah, didn't look like he was ready for it. Sweet burns alive to Glaived, and now, two versus three. 19 seconds on the clock. The bomb is making his way over to the bomb site. Shane does go down. Torsi turning around. He knows, but he still gets the kill anyway. Glaive definitely missing that up. He definitely could have had that right away. Still a one versus two. The bomb is planted, and I think they're going to double peek him if he comes near this corner. The fact that they're doubled up again is very smart against the AWP because you know that he's going to probably have one shot and then he'll go down. <gasps> what? Oh, what? Egg as well. I can't believe it. No, he caught up to the edge of the wall. Five oh, health. Oh, no. Oh, dude, that's such a shame. That's rough. But from Big's point of view, it's, it's got to feel like justice, right? <sighs> like we, we got robbed that last round, but we made our way back. So good job. Wow. Okay, then. Well, that is a that's a big sigh of relief from Big right now. Just managing to get that uh, get that round on lock, and again, aggression in mid, and just getting that key player. This is one of those things that we really have to keep an eye on on Ancient is mid control. And if you're able to get up there with a player from Big, then you can catch out the rotators, and you can just be a real thorn. He manages to just kill off everybody. Three players accounted for by Glaved in that round. So it's really solid work. Shane's out. I think I'm about to walk out behind him. Yeah. <laughs> what the? He's surely going to know. He must hear the nades. He's still just walking around. He's got a deagle. I, this is it's very hard to convert this into multi kills, but he's got the first setup. Spotting a second guy. Can he get more than one? There's a bit of a chance here. He's going to get one and two. And then finally gets taken down. It's still pretty impressive. <laughs> it's so easy to mess that up. I know it looks like you should always get two or three kills there, but. Trust me, it's it's so easy to get one in this die right away. I'm amazed he gets the one in that situation because he, he he fluffs two of the first shots. Yeah, it's so I mean, well played, honestly. That's not so. Dude, what a heart attack moment, though, if you're on the T side there. Just like, where did he come from? Yeah. How is that possible? No one checked it. No one checked it. Bomb is not planted yet, but I think that's just a sign of big wanting to make absolutely sure that they're not getting surprised anymore in this round. So taking it slowly, a little bit of uh, an attempt. Oh, we saw the leg. That's a bit of a shame, otherwise it would have been a fun position. But he got spotted, and they're going to get the remaining kills. And they're off to a really hot start right here. Ancient looking good at the moment for big. They're looking confident here. Clearly have a game plan. It's the reason why they picked into this. It caught the analyst desk by surprise that they went for this pick as well, big taking Ancient and trying to throw a loop in things. And again, it's something that keeps getting uh, hammered on. But it is true that the meta shifts so quickly on this new map. You still have new things, new strategies every day coming out here. And so it's going to be very difficult to prepare for an opponent. You may not know exactly how they're going to play it or if they found anything new to throw at you either. So kind of nightmare fuel there, actually, for Mouse. But they do manage to get a bomb, or rather a buy, after that uh, round of eco. And so now we have to see what are they going to be capable of with some rifles. But again, light on nades. That's the thing. They have This is just a disaster start to the half for Mouse Sports because on that CT side, you really want as many nades as possible to play with. And they just cannot seem to afford them. A dangerous game being played in the middle by JDC. That's an interesting molly. Yeah, they just want to... I think they want to try and back him all the way out. He put it on the smoke himself, JDC, to, to sort of extend it and create some doubt about whether or not he's still actually there. And Glaived last time, remember, he took that advanced position, mm -hmm. he made it work, he actually got the kill. If he could do it again, that's the setup that they need. You can't even really rotate to the, the A bomb site if someone is in middle like that. Lapex goes down. Sweet. Was an absolute beast on Dust 2. We'll only get the one kill this time, and all the way in the back. 
his uh, Polish teammate. Shane coming in with a good kill. So this is looking pretty good right now. 40 seconds, two versus three. Bomb is down in the bomb site, so they know they can get more people over here. Got to be careful they don't go down trying to do it. Whoa. You see, it looked like he had the advantage there. Uncharacteristic miss from JDC. Dust2 and on Ancient, he's been hitting shots. That uh, It's rare to catch him uh, sleeping in this series. If that smoke fades, he might be in a little bit of trouble here. Shane, out in the open, the Orc will ring true, though. Taking down Aqua, and that is a, <laughs> as a sigh of relief, surely. They're about to lose that 2-on-3. Now, I'm not so sure. Nine seconds on the clock, he needs to the end. He can't really do much. Glaive goes down, and it's a win for Mouse, but only really barely. Yeah. The, the, that didn't look super confident either. Squeaked through on that one. They're still trying to figure this out right now because, I mean, it's continuing this strategy from Big to just be very uh, concentrated. Get a player up in mid. Let him be the thorn in, the, in your opposition side in that rotation. So you have Glaive. He's cutting off the rotators. And then, obviously, when the site hit comes in, he can then go on the flank. So, but the rest of the team is staying grouped up. And so it's going to be very curious to see if, uh, if Mouseboard start to push aggressively on the extremities of the map to see if they can pick up on this and uh, how quickly they can figure out which of the bomb sites big are going to try and hit this round. A little bit more of a spread from uh, big in this round here. Going to fix to put a couple of players into mid, but no presence towards a lobby. Yeah, they're crunching that mid from from really both sides, from T spawn and from from that from the outside of B setup. So. Kind of a cool way to do it. Again, something you can get away with a little bit more if the CTs don't have that many nades. Otherwise, they probably will Molotov some of those position. Torty, nice little jump to uh, fake out the shot there. He's actually going to just Molotov it and come back for more. Bit dangerous in those hallways. You can get weirdly stuck on walls. Mm. It's not a completely clean hallway to run through. But they're looking to set up a really aggressive B execute. There are three people here on the mouse side, but one of them is CAWP. If that gets run down... It could end pretty quickly. The other one is an MP9, actually, so they, uh, they're not that well defended either. JDC all the way in the back. Nice drop of the bomb. That should call in every reinforcement. But he only gets the one. And now, yeah, he can do some wall bangs. That's all fun and games, but you really need some teammates over here to go for the retake. Flash comes through. They do get the bomb plant. It's still a four on four. Aqua with his back turned, maybe waiting for a setup. There's the wall bang shot from Torsi. Trying a long time to get that working. MP9 covering his back. He's going to get that one on Glaive. That's a very nice shot. And yeah, that actually works out way better than I was expecting. Nice retake. Good job on that AWP and the MP9 combo. It works. Dude, I can't believe it. That Torsi round. That is crazy. That second shot that he gets. I mean, he's obviously just trying to wall bang the whole time, hoping yeah. to get lucky. It actually works. But then that follow-up kill is outrageous. That sets it all up. And that's a key kill that he got as well on that flank because that guy's going to be working his way in. It's glaved again on the lurk. And just nothing. Dude, I can't believe it. Wow, what are they, I mean, this time, and again, you see the difference that JDC makes, man. He just gets that kill, and even if he dies after that, it doesn't matter. He got the kill, he slowed down the situation, <laughs> dropped the bomb out in the open, made it very difficult for, or at least he slowed down big yeah. in the bomb plant. Again, I mean, it really feels like JDC is, uh, is having a solid performance at the beginning of this tournament. Really looking forward to seeing more from him. <laughs> Double nade out there, and uh, Warbang headshot on Glaive to follow it up. Or at least the edge of the box, I'm assuming. But, um, yeah. Not really much of a buy beyond the Deagles going into this round for big. So a chance now for Mouse Sports to make it 4-5. Which, again, would sort of stabilize the game a little bit for them. It's looking a bit grim. Shadow showing for exertion. He was ready to pick up that kill. Shane picking up another one. Lapex on his own. And they only a single one. So now Mouse Sports, are, you know, from, from losing a bunch of rounds into a flawless round like this one. Feels good. Yeah, they're starting to look better and better. Picking up that momentum now. This is just going to build confidence on the team. They're getting kills. Now they've got all of the nades as well, as well as a little bit of bank. It's not crazy just yet, but it's enough for them to feel good, and it's enough for them to get full nades on the CT side. And that's where, again, something you mentioned at the beginning of the Sanders, how there can be a speed limit imposed on this map on the yeah. T side. Now Mouse have everything they need to enforce that speed limit. Before, you know, they were getting away. But now Mouse, you know, it's like... They've got the they've got the Ferrari police car. It's true, isn't it? Wow, a little bit of a swing. That's Wait, dangerous. that's the bomb. That is the bomb. They should be able to recover it, but um, yeah, a bit scary. Just for a minute. 
And more people rotating on over. Actually leaving just a single player. Shane with the Orc over at that A-bomb site. So they... Yeah, they feel like this is the... Where the action is going to be. Torsi taking down Glaive. That was in the middle. And he's pushing forward. I mean, that's very aggressive. But it gives them so much information. Means they know no one else is in middle. Shane hasn't seen anyone outside of the A-bomb site. So they probably feel like they have them pretty much locked in. So he's still going aggressive in a 5-on-3. I... Well, 5-on-2. And I don't know about that. That might be a little bit too much. Gives them... Not a great chance, but a, a potential opening. I'm so impressed with the level that we're seeing here. Nice attempt at a double. JDC again holding his own. Nearly picks up the last one. Two health left on uh, Nyx, and it's looking like he's going to be able to get that bomb plant, which is a small victory in and of itself. But he will not win the round. Caught out in the open. There's really nowhere to go at that point. Once that bomb gets planted, you're just stuck behind that pillar. But that still turned it from 5-on-2 into a 2-on-1. So, as you know, I was probably happy they win the round, but that did get more expensive. And that could be... We don't know too much about uh, Sui as a, you know, as a player yet. He seems to be v somewhat aggressive. And sometimes that's a trade that's worth having. And, uh, you know, having aggressive players could be very, very helpful. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, the trade-off could be sometimes they might give away a kill, you know, or a death that's not needed. And put your team in a bit of a weird position. So we'll just have to keep an eye on that. I feel like so far he's still trading favorably in my mind. He's, he's getting out on ahead on most of those fights. This one was a little bit scary, potentially. If JDC also went down in the bomb side without getting anyone, they're in a two-on-two -two uh, with the bomb planet suddenly. It's fun to say, again, it feels like JDC, you got to wake up early to catch that guy <laughs> off guard. Yeah, he's if he's good for just one kill every time, that's great. Uh, Prime has been doing work as well, quietly. In the background, but he's up to 12 kills. Okay, then. I mean, it's still 5-5 five to five tied up. This is still a CT-sided map. So, I mean, that really does go to show how solid the beginning of this half was for Big, that they got five rounds on the T-side. So, they should be feeling pretty good about themselves to get another two here in this half. Miles obviously looking for the 10-5. They just want to establish dominance throughout the rest of this half. And so far, it's looking good. Now they have the nades again to just make life difficult. HE's going in, and Sendieri creating some room as well. We will get the double peak towards Donut, but nothing uh, nothing coming of it just yet. No, nope. revealing that AWP over on the A side. They definitely must have heard that. But uh, a lot of potential for some aggression here. Glaive again. I think the third or fourth time that he snuck into this uh, top mid position. It's pretty much the thing he does, isn't it? Yeah, look at this crossfire setup they have over at the Jaguar position. So, could be dangerous. Nice. But he's going to get caught. JDC again. JDC, man. He is so good right now. I am so impressed. You need something to clear that with. You can't just walk into the... That's the whole point of the crossfire, right? <laughs> that's the idea. They know that there's a second player in there. Aqua, though, getting exertion. And it is a two-on-four with the bomb... Still in T spawn, basically. So even if they're doing oh, nicely what? done, back into a two on two. Aqua got a kill as well. What a weird round. What a weird round. Oh no! But wait a minute. Is he gonna walk in? He's he's looking for it. It doesn't matter. So he takes him down. Otherwise, that would have been. I mean, how does he take maybe that? A what are these kills, Anders? I don't know. Just all of this. He has to basically run here. He's only got 25 seconds. If he wants to fight it, which it looks like maybe he won't. But he'd have to just just run to get that bomb and run into the can't even be done anymore now. But that is that's Mouse again, almost yeah. giving away a huge round. And oh, he's not actually run away. I thought maybe they'd try and escape. Now this is dangerous. He could win the round. Six seconds. He almost swings for it. Four seconds left, and they barely win it. Unbelievable. <laughs> That is so scary, and they should be so thankful they win well, that round. I want to see the heart rate monitors now after a round like that. Yes. I'm oh, sure. I want to see the heart rate monitors now. Need heart rate monitors. Dude, what a round was that? On us, I feel like. That's yes. Really Getting a bit sweaty in here. It's freaking out. Oh, come on. Now is the time. After a round like that, we need to see the heart rate monitors, because holy smokes, that was so close. Unbelievable. I mean, that's... The fact that he even got close to winning that two-on-one, -on you'd think that as soon as they see, okay, there's 18 seconds, the only question is, can he either find both the kills or 
run to the spawn, pick up the bomb and plant it. He can't. Like, can't. there's not enough time. He can't do it. So just le don't ever give him the chance, right? I'm just amazed that, uh, I think it was Chewy, that he hung around, that he just didn't run away. Yeah, well, yeah. both of them could have, right? Like, they just, as soon as he loses his teammate, I'm so surprised he doesn't just start running away. Yeah. Like, why like hang it. around there? Escape. Get out. Well, here we go. Six to five. Mouse in the lead. Economy still not looking that great because they keep they keep throwing away these rounds where they have a lot. Molotov to run through. Assertion is there, and it's a nice triple. Make it a quad spray down, why don't you? Leaving just Lapex on his own. He's going to stop the ace from happening with the Tech 9. That's annoying. But finally a round that Mouse actually make money on. We're starting to get the pop-offs back as well here for Mouse. Yeah. yeah, that they make money. They've got bank. They've got the nades. They've got everything they need here. We get the replay here from Exertion Zone. That's so blind. Yeah, that was just an impeccable flash. They can't see anything. It's rough. Tech 9. What does Lepex have that on his scroll wheel? Dude, that was some fast shooting. All right. There was a point in time where there was no upper cap on how quickly you could shoot with the dualies if you had it bound to uh, yeah. initially and go. Bra so if you just, and just empty the clip. Hell <laughs> yeah. Just get that in there. Oh, nice lineup. Noted. Yeah. But they are being slowed down a little bit. They're actually playing much quicker than I've seen most teams play on the T side. So I kind of appreciate that. A lot of the quickness is towards the middle. Trying to see if they could get that uh, early advantage. Torsi's here. I think he knows someone has crossed. Yeah, he had a very, very good awareness in that moment. Smoke is going to fade, and he still wins. Normally, if you're playing inside of the smoke, you're the one with the advantage. Yes. He's so fast, Anders. Truly. Or he, just, I mean, he might have even just pre-fired the smoke as like a precautionary thing, but that's still pretty impressive. Two versus four. Another one of these scenarios where you think mouse are... In a good position right now to slow play it. Don't don't give any chances here. Maybe lose another player, but don't don't bring this into another two on two from this position. Yeah, he's way out in the open. He was actually he was put himself in a crossfire there, JDC, without even knowing. Sui waiting inside of the bomb site. Gonna be going for the fight against Aquar and almost gets run down. Indeed, he can't get his rifle back out again. It's a one on two and a little bit of health at least here. For uh, Nick Sabe, trying to see if he can get something done. 30 seconds on the clock. He's going to flash his way around the corner, but not able to catch anyone. Bomb. How do you get the bomb punt down without just giving up the site? And it will be Shane to take him down at the end. So, Mouse, they win the round. But again, it is kind of close, some of these rounds, even if they look like they have a pretty big lead in them. Yeah, I can't. I, was this a. I think this is seven rounds in a row right now that we're seeing, if Damn. I'm not mistaken. Uh, this has just been a total run back from Mouse Sports so far. They are clearly very comfortable. They're hitting their shots. They're taking duels. And it feels like they're starting to figure it out that uh, big, at least initially, we're starting to do the real group and gather kind of strategy, get onto the site together as a group and uh, play it from there. Now, big have kind of tried to spread it out a little bit more, as we're seeing now. You can see they're kind of all around on the map. And that's just playing into Mouse Sports' strength. They're winning these duels. Yeah, they've, been, they've had some pretty decent setups in terms of of winning some of the early fights. This time, definitely leaned much more towards the A side of the map. In fact, giving up most of middle. And with, uh, with Sui pushing this aggressively, makes you a little bit nervous. If he goes down, that B bomb side is gone in a second. Look at him just edging his way out of the smoke. That is such a bold play. Obviously, it that works out and, and pays off if they're just not watching it, but they were, and they're not far away from giving up this round for almost nothing. Yeah, what a mad lad. <laughs> That's so crazy. I uh, hope that they're not watching this. And that might actually cost them quite a bit, although his teammate has rotated into mid. Look at this, though. We could get a very quick flank. There could be yeah. three players on this A side very quickly here for Maus. They're setting it up. Counter smoke comes out. That's actually really good timing on that. Buys more time for the flank to come in. There's Shane coming through. And Exertion, he's ready with the orc. A big double kill. Nearly a triple. He could have maybe turned that around. JDC good for another kill every single round, it seems. Lapex goes down. And now it's Glaive. Good headshot. Picks up an AK, but he can't get it done. Torsi will take him down. And this time it's Mouse sort of coming back into that round. And I, I mean... 
I don't think Big could have known, but as soon as they got the kill on Sui, if they'd kept pushing the bomb site like really quickly, probably that would have been the end of the round. But they waited just a bit and they bought time. The hesitation is what costs you in the end. This is the kill that you're talking about there, Anders Lefix catching that one for free. And then they try and execute onto a site with 30 seconds left and a fresh smoke going down and just nightmare fuel. Worst case scenario there for Big in the end. And Mao's, I think, are just fully confident now. It just looks like yeah. they're so happy. They're, ta they're popping off. They're all smiles. They're goofing around. And it really feels like they've just set themselves up for success on this second map. And this is Big's map pick. It's worth mentioning. It is, yeah. It's some of this mid-control that they had early on Big, they had a lot of success you know, building something from that position. It's not happening in the same way any longer. So... Yeah, they can get mid, but they still need to need to find a way to make that work. Glaive, if he wants to, he could sneak up into that top mid position. He's kind of stopped doing that after he started losing that. He nearly walked into that shot. That is close. And now we've got the orb as well on Torsi. Still holding this angle. See if they're going to go for a little double peek. If he can get the flick, if he's really quick. But yeah, both peeking at the same, same position, but slightly different angles. Or elevation. Pretty good setup over at the B bomb site. Three players, in fact, from out. Oh no! Oh, both of them. That's that was uh, unfortunate that we caught that on screen. Nobody needed to see that. No. Well, that's how it is sometimes. Counter needs coming out. I mean, that smoke goes down at about 40 seconds. That doesn't leave a lot of time for the T side to get something done. They're all grouped up. They're in the tunnels. They're outside of the B bomb site. But again, they're being flanked through middle. Torsi is setting it up with the AWP, and he's going to catch that. Oh, the timing is unbelievable. Just as they put out the nades, they're going to get the headshot, but there's 20 seconds left for them to try and get into the bomb site here, and there's more backup coming. The entire CT side is going to be at the bomb site. Exertion running out of the smoke. He gets the one. Sui with another one. The bomb is on the ground. 10 seconds on the clock, and Aqua, what could he possibly do? He has to go straight for the bomb, but he can't fake it. That'll get him killed, and now he's run out of time. All he has to do is hide here, and he knows it as well. 10-5 in favor of Mouse after a dreadful start that is a great recovery uh, and I did uh, get the confirmation there that I was looking for it was 5-1 in favor of big and then Mao's run it all the way back finish the half at 10 to 5 damn yeah damn is right that is pain that is an agonizing turn of events there very hard to deal with isn't it mentally as well you know like they they really were looking pretty good but um, good good comeback for uh, for the mouse side that's impressive it makes it makes you think now, yeah, maybe it was a bit of a pocket pick coming out from, from Big. Maybe they felt good about it, but perhaps we're also seeing the reason why Mouse didn't really worry about letting them do this. Because they're like, yeah, well, even if you do it, we're, we're going to be well prepared. Some confidence in that? Some real confidence. I'm still just, I'm still just enjoying this studio, Anders. It looks so good. It's nice. It's good to be back doing something. I feel oh, like yeah. we've been... We locked away for so long. I'm just trying to remember when was it the last time that we had players above our heads like this? Because uh, I know we've had this sort of scenario before. I or was it vice versa, where it was blast and we were standing on top of the players? There was that, that. could have been yeah. There was that. Yeah, if it was a Counter Strike map, perfect wall bang position here. <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> we are right underneath. Can, I can hear them. I can hear them stomp on the roof when they get excited. So, like an annoying neighbor. Yeah, exactly. Shut up up there. Uh, <laughs> I'll allow it this time, though. You know, first land back. Come on, let's uh, let's get it. Let's get it. It's all right. You make some noise. You stomp on that roof. Yeah, I mean, I feel like big. If whenever they've had an opportunity, they've tried to be a little bit loud, but it they just haven't had that many. It, it feels like it goes away pretty quickly. Ten five at the end of that half. And this time it was, uh, I mean, on Dust 2, it was, it was Sui. This time it was uh, Shane doing it. Mouse, like, listen into the team speak. Oh, no, nice. Chopped across. Oh, fuck. Ich bin Donut halt von da, man. Zwei Mitte, die haben Mitte Kontrolle. Ja. Die Headshot Engel A. Ich hab Haus. Dann hältst du Tempel und hältst du Donut? Ja, ja, ja. Ich bin komplett der vom B. Donut. I'm gonna smoke temple for you guys. You guys smoke CT. What's that? You guys ready? I don't know what they're doing. Ready, guys? Wait. Yeah, we wait for the smoke zone, I think. Yeah, we're ready. Let's do it. 
just wait and then we we still walk. We shouldn't run. We just walk. And you mock city when we're out. Yeah. Pushing to the left flat now. Oh, He's out, Temple. Rocky. Rocky dead. dead. Nice. Did he default, default inside. I'm flashing city. Flashing city. Fine, I smoked city. I'm gonna push Temple through smoke. Yeah, you should. Yeah. Temple, come, come, come. Yeah. I'll come to you, actually. One spotted. One could be A man. You know? Got a top pick, three, two. No one, I stepped. Okay. Can be city close now. Yeah. City? Off. Temple, temple. Two. Two. two guys, temple. Nice uh, shot. Bro, he's so lucky with them. <laughs> bro, he just white swung. Damn. Unlucky, guys. Fine. It's fucking okay. dualist, bro. How can he? He's fucking cowboy looking ass. <laughs> wow. Um, there's so much to take away from some of these calm situations. You know, like, think about how how much they don't want to give away even the tiniest amount of details. They put up that smoke all the way from T-spawn, and he just, right before it lands, says, just walk, don't run, yeah. right? So he's, he's basically saying, okay, we're going to block their vision, but on top of that, let's not even give them any audio information about how many people are coming. We're going to take the risk and trust the smoke and walk. And that, I guess the margins are thin here. You don't give anything away. Uh, JDC is a bit aggressive. You know, he's even getting, he's even telling <coughs> JDC not to peek before the smoke. Yeah. Like, just wait, wait, wait. Okay, now go, right? I, I, these guys have got better comms than most pros. It's crazy. Listening to this is amazing. The, 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 just the, they're so good right now. Yeah. They're so dialed in. I'm so impressed. Okay. Torsi's picking up that kill. I don't think Big want to give this round you know, back. They, they Obviously, the bomb plant, they just go straight into the buy. They force it up and up against a couple of MP9s and everything else. Oh, when they get wow. that kill. Lapex going down. That is huge. Just like that. Four versus one. Mouse Sports not giving them any room to breathe at all. Devastating round, this one. It's just so cool to see the level Anders, because these guys have got comms like this. They've got fundamentals already in CS. They're learning They're learning very quickly how to be pros. Yeah. It's just going to push the pro level of CS through the roof at this rate. This yeah, bodes so well. You have to you know, just put it in perspective, right? I mean, like... Oh, at one point, some of what people would try to learn about what it meant to play a professional game would come from watching frag movies and stuff. <laughs> you know, yeah. Like, you try and like decipher, wait, what is he doing? He's using the he's using the Deagle AWP combo. That seems good. I guess we'll try yeah, and do yeah, that. Yeah. You know, so that's, uh, from that to, yeah, to people that we've hardly ever heard of coming out and playing, I agree, at a very high level. It's very cool, very inspiring. You love to see it. It's so impressive. 11 to 6, that is... This mouse strangling big right now. They give them one round, like a little bit of room to breathe, and then boom. Let's give him a tidbit. Just head, just about the icy water, you know. Oh, back down again. Just back down again. Get out of here, DiCaprio. <laughs> just, it's, 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 so, it's so ruthless, Anders. I never understood why there wasn't space for him on that. <laughs> Listen, he just had to die, okay? <laughs> it was like, seemed like it was a totally avoidable situation, you know. Just had to die. Lapex pushing up, but um, yeah, that's what they were themselves were trying to do on that CT side, so that they're not going to get caught up. God, I'm caught. Trying to run away. Very quick reaction there from JDC, making sure that nobody could actually wrap on him, although he is still going to get caught by Glaive. Glaive, the king of the lurk. Still a very high heart rate as well for a lurker. Like he just He's averaging consistently around that 130 mark right now, but uh, he's getting good. He's getting kills. He's just fired up. He's into it. I still don't know if, if I guess you think of low blood, like a low heart rate as being like a sign that you're cool and calm and all the rest mm -hmm. of it. But I don't know if, I don't know if the opposite of that, if, if there's like a necessarily an opposite correlation, right? That if you are, have a high ah. blood rate, that means, <laughs> you, you know, yeah, you're out of control. And like, I'm not sure you can just draw that conclusion. Where are the medical people? Someone who, someone tell us how this works. I think in, uh, in competition, you know, having a high blood rate, having a high uh, heart rate is generally not good. Yeah, but I'm not sure if it, if it works. I, I understand if we were doing, you know, if they were doing, let's say, archery, then having a super high blood rate or like a, a high heart rate, right, would mean that you're probably shaking a bit more. Like Sure, harder. yeah. I can understand how that works, but I'm not sure if it works in esports the same way. It's, it's kind of hard, hard to know, right? Yeah.
Someone do the studies. Do I the mean, tests. what would be great now is to see some of the pros and see where they where they are at right now. Because you know these guys are, you know, they're the pro am. They're moving up, definitely. But I would love to get heart rate monitors on some of those elite teams like Astralis, et cetera, and see. Well, Astralis once upon a time, uh, but you know, see what they <laughs> see what they can do. All right, that'd be so cool. Astralis are themselves an academy team in a way. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's just the way it is. Oh, I feel bad for saying that. Twelve and six. Oh, they just rushed the T spawn, but JDC is there to cover it all up. A little bit close here with the pistol, but it just works out anyway. Good job. That was a cool, I like that from uh, from Big. That's a, that's a nice idea. <gasps> Left him hanging. No. Nope. How could he? <gasps> oh, there we go. <sighs> Damn, they recovered it, all right. Good, I, I like that, I like it. He doesn't, he doesn't accept it, he calls him out. <coughs> Tells him, yo bro, you can't do that to me. Get back over here. Good, good stuff. Good I job. appreciate that. Man's dialed in. And is this attack timeout? Nope, not attack timeout getting called by Big. They just want to keep going. But that's three rounds in a row picked up for Maus. And, well, Maus have got everything that they could want right now going into this round. Big, they are going to be hard-pressed. And light on anti-rush nades. And look at this, taking advantage of it. Molotov gets thrown down here, but Maus are just going to let it fly. They're going to let it ride. 13-6. They've set up a crossfire. And towards Jaguar. Exertion kind of looking for a little bit, but not much. Not committing to the fight. Oh, there's a flashbang and a smoke to try and break up. This is what we didn't see Big do when they tried to do this. They didn't try and break up the crossfire. They're going to be able to trade it. So it, it kind of works in the end. They obviously wanted the kill straight up, but uh, it's still the one for one trade is worth it for that mouse side. Oh, that flash is nasty. I don't think he shows anything, though. I don't think he takes a shot. They don't know the op is there. No, they don't. And they lost uh, Aqua at the meantime, so four versus three now. Oh, this is one of those really awkward situations, though, Anders. I mean, it could still break either way. Could. Nice headshot, and Prime Tap's coming in with a kill on the AWP on Torsi there. So, um, yeah, definitely still could. A little bit of a pre fire, mm -hmm. but it works out anyway. Prime Tap's taking down JDC, and Sleeper's one on two, getting shot in the back by Layback. Yeah. That's a nice recovery from. From big, and I think a little bit of a slip up from Mouse. I think they could have, they could have probably slow played that round a lot more than they did there. Yeah, it's where it's that awkward one where, okay, yeah, you got to kill on A, but that doesn't help anything on B. You're still super spread out. You don't have the bomb on a bomb site, so you can still get picked off here and there. And that's exactly what we saw. Yeah, the, it's and not a winning situation, even if you are just get it, even if you have the kill advantage. It seems uh, what's really weird is that they got the kill on A, and it seemed like they just sort of. They felt like, well, now it's just we, we're free to just run across the map, you know. And like, no, you're not. You <laughs> still get picked Ooh. off. I'm seeing an auto shot. Yeah, play. auto shot. Right, oh, straight up on to A. Oh, what a rush. Let's go. Yeah, this is something that's normally very, very hard to do on this map, but somehow they make this work. A little bit of an attempt from Prime Taps. It would have been amazing if you could have got that second kill. But they're on the bomb site. Can we get a quick bomb plant to follow it up? There is. Not currently a flank that's being set up either, and they're actually double pushing towards that CT spawn or exertion, waiting for the bomb plant and getting a kill in reward. That's huge. Wow, and he's so aware. Doesn't plant towards uh, Jaguar either, or towards Cave now. Yep, they're going to try and fall back out of the Molotov. Very, very tough right now for Big to get into this. In fact, they're already backing out. They know we don't have the money to rebuy this. The auto shotgun, they've already heard it, so they know that it's in there somewhere. They're going to get the kill on Amy Street, picking it up, and two versus four, and 14th round now for Mouse. I guess uh, those B rushes, I find, they're so rare. And you even see why to get in there means running through smoke and Molotovs and in the flash. It's just very hard, but it worked. And they had at least one good flashbang on that first guy. Well, they had one. I mean, it's just, again, um, because so few players are getting through it, right? There's just not enough money for the CTs and not enough uh, money to get the anti-rush nades. And so they're playing into that. And we should get more of the same even here, where they could try and go for that turn of speed on Mouse Sports because big are going to be limited on their, uh, on their grenades. It's exactly what Mouse Sports were suffering from at the beginning of their half on the CT side, where they were getting kind of bullied, couldn't quite shut things down the way, the way they would have liked. But that was a that was just I like to see a rush every now and again, and that that's a situation where it makes sense to go for the rush. Yes, it does. 
Well, they saved some of the rifles at least on the big side, and they're going to desperately need them. 14 to 7 right now. The scoreline. Right, let's just see. Kind of expecting for there to be a little bit of aggressive CT play. Hugely stacked towards the B side of the map right now. Big kind of putting all their uh, eggs in one basket at the moment. Which may pay off. It looks like it could be a B hit. So maybe this is a good call. Yeah, I mean, a lot of sense. Even then, right, it's two for Masters and a Deagle holding the actual bomb site. So they have a lot of people here, but... That doesn't have to translate into a lot of kills either. One for Mars going down. There's the other one. Now just a deagle left on Prime Taps. He's trying. Spins around. He had the right idea. It's not going to be enough. Bomb should be planted here in a second. And just like that, two on three. And a chance here for Mouse to get to not just map, but match point. Yeah, it's looking very good here for Mouse Sports. And uh, for a second, you know, Big, uh, really at the beginning of this map, but uh, Big now are the ones kind of regretting up maybe going for this weird uh, pick. Somehow going to just catch him completely off guard. Glaived continuing to come up with the goods with these Lurk kills. Okay. I mean, nice timing on that peak, obviously. And unfortunately, they're going to have to try and save this AWP, but Exertion is not even going to let him. He's just running him down. Aqua, yeah, he must have heard that. He's still going to be wow. dropped. What an aggressive play. What a beautiful way to get to 15. I mean, the thing that we obviously don't know is if things would have got even any better if they'd ended up playing on Vertigo or something. I mean, that could have also been a nightmare, right, for uh, for Biggs. It's kind of hard to know. But Mouse are living up to the hype at the moment, and that's good to know. Good yeah, they're to looking see. terrific. A lot of confidence on the roster, making the correct plays. And, uh, well, we're going to actually get to listen in on them and how they go about orchestrating perhaps the uh, last round of the, round, uh, the map of the series. And we're going to get this right now. They smoked banana. I'm going through. I'm going through. They might be banana, Joey. I can flash it. Two banana, two ruins, listen, two ruins and one banana. banana. Maybe four B even. Listen. Wait, I'm coming up to it. Take them on bottom. And you will go all the way. All boosts. Still only. No, I can't do mid. Is he alone on A? I think yeah. he is. Let's go A, I will retake banana in a second. I'm in donut. Really? On his runes. You can try A main now. Wait. Did you show yourself on B? No. On no. He's boxed. Oh, yes. Big big box. Box. Holding it. He's big box. On but one more. No? One is long. He's the same guy, I think. He's big box. I'll kill the big box guy. I can molly him if you want. Wait, I'll kill the big box. Maybe he's temple. Big box, big box. People one said it's, it's, it's like temple. Two, I'm two close. on a. <laughs> what the fuck? One is donut. One is temple. Yeah. You can, yeah one guy could way. push me. He can go B. He could be push B. I uh, mid. I mean. He can push, but yeah, he can push. Out the ruins. I'm hiding in the city smoke. I will just fight instantly. Pretty clear. No they have to be pushed, probably. Wait. Wait, Adam. Okay. You need flash or something? Why this buff? Both there. Oh, that's right. Nice try. Nice try. Let's go. My bad, sorry, guys. Can John, can you drop? I can drop an AK, yeah. I need drop exciting over. times. I think oh, yeah. well, the, the takeaway from that, once he rushes that Jaguar position in the beginning, they actually have such an incredible picture of what's happening on the CT side. They guess that it's a single player A. I mean, never mind that they don't get the kills. Obviously, that is the important follow-up. You have to get the kills, right? But if they got this one, like, they had the read, actually. Exertion so, did. Yeah. Let's be straight on that. You know, like, Exertion called it. He thinks he's solo A. Clearly, he had a read on the situation. You almost kind of wish that his teammates would... Uh, would pay closer attention there. Yeah, but credit to Big. I mean, a, bit, a nice, a nice interception of that bomb. You know, like making sure they they actually mm -hmm. caught it before it got into the site. That would have been a nightmare. So interesting times. Back fifteen to eight, and we're gonna go into the twenty fourth round. A little bit of a stack outside of the B bomb, so A bomb side this time, with just some noise being made. So if they can get the kill on Aqua, they know that you know last round he was alone. Maybe try and. See if you can catch him alone this time again. He's certainly been forced back and smokes are up everywhere. Could be a quick bomb plan. That's a nice shot from Navix. Oh, what a follow-up as well. Taking down JDC. This is such a defense. They all, I actually can't believe he even found the space for it. I thought they were all going to get smoked off. But somehow, missing just the one there, and that's enough. 
Gets another kill on the lurk in mid as well. Now it's just Torzi alone. Uh, he is in a 1v4 bomb out in the open. No way for him to get a bomb plant in this situation. They're going to start sacking players on the side of big. You can see that MP9 already kind of pushing through here. Torzi not going to find another kill. So we're going to get a, a gasp out of uh, big here at the end. Yeah. Not going down without a fight. And the, uh, the, you know, the, the question that I think is going to be ever-present throughout all of these series here on this land is, you know, can you close? When, the, yeah. when, it, when it comes down to it, when you are the team with the match point, can you get the job done and end the series? Or are you going to let more rounds get played and potentially let your opponents get back into the series? Get, you know, if they start getting back into the game, it's going to get dicey. This is such a crazy play with the AWP because... His teammates over at the uh, over at the ruins, they're all locked out, right? They can't even help him, so it's all on him. It's well done. Yeah, super impressive. And I think we're going to get a slow... We're going to get, um, rather, uh, just a round of eco coming up here for Mouse Sports. They don't have the money for a buy, so it should be a little bit more of a, a team affair here. For Mouse, they'll be happy to get a bomb plant in a situation like this. They bought some grenades, though, which kind of... A, a little bit unusual if you're going for a, for some sort of an eco. Usually people just buy deagles or something, but we'll see. Molotov is up. Okay. Toasting him. Yeah, good. You know, putting him on notice just a bit. That is a nasty molly as well. They must have found a box uh, where it's uh, it's doing that uh, that instant, uh, well, rather the delayed explosion for it to go that far. Yeah, works out real well. But all the potential tricks here, nobody giving them any of the kills yet that they need. Still have just the Deagle in play now. And I think... Uh, so he's just... He's hoping that someone's going to come and not check the corner, but... Oh, Glaive, he was sort of pretending. They pull the knife out and <laughs> stab him in the back. That feels... That feels good, you know. You're going to lose the round anyway, but at least... At least you got that. Dude, on an eco round, no less. Yeah. That's really good. That's a lot of money in the pocket right there. That's why you go for those knife kills. And it's uh, it's good for the morale. Miles, you know, it's, uh, that's the thing. You saw a little bit of a holler there from uh, Shui when he got the kill. A little bit of a grin. So, uh, looks like the team, they appreciated that one. He is going to get caught in the open, but whatever. He only had an M4. He's not too worried about that. And uh, now he almost certainly has money for an AWP drop if they need it. And yep, he's going to get that AWP, hand it over to Torzi, trades the AK, and this is going to be a solid round coming up here for Mouse Sports. Indeed. What about on the other side? They have almost everything they need. I feel like the Mouse Sports, they're going to be lacking a couple of needs here, as you can tell. So, just leaves less room for a lot of fakes. Not going to be throwing one round of nades and then falling back and doing it again or anything. That's going to be hard to do with the nades that they have. Instant counter rush nades coming out. That is kind of what you're usually expecting outside of the bomb site. But they're pushing up behind them, which is very cool. Let's see if Mouse are ready for it. Flash around the corner. There's smokes everywhere, but Exertion's still able to see it. Oh, he's got such wow. a line. A big double kill with the headshot. And Stewie coming in, taking down Lapex. Everything that Big didn't need in this round. And, I mean, again, they're right on the edge of sort of getting back into it, trying to get into overtime here on the second map. Now it's looking pretty much impossible here. Exertion, third kill of the round for him, taking down Glaive. What a fantastic way for him to end the match. It's going to be Aqua nearly shot in the back. In fact, there it is. Shane takes him down 16 to 10. And Mouse Sports will finish it in two maps. Two maps. They got to decide the first map of the series. Turns out that uh, when they get the choice and they decide who goes first in the veto, they have the confidence.